How to stay single and miserable forever. In this video, I'll reveal mindsets and habits to avoid unless you do want to stay single and miserable for the rest of your life. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Start healing now in the description below. Do you love being romantically alone and sad? Do you want to feel like you're missing out on love? Do you want to genuinely stay single and hate every moment of it? Well, make sure you take note of what I'll be revealing in this video. All jokes aside, I've done extensive research and spoken to thousands of men and women who find themselves single and miserable of all walks of life and ages. And I noticed a common trend. I noticed patterns and habits they all shared. Of course, in extreme cases and situations, some people are frustratedly single and they cannot catch a break at all. But again, that's in the extreme of situations. Most of these singles who are miserable are all doing and acting frighteningly similar. So for you to avoid making the same mistake, do the opposite, please, of what I'm going to reveal to you in this video. Let's continue. If you want to stay single and miserable forever, simply suffer any form of romantic rejection and give up and quit forever. I know a guy who did this. He still does. His ego and arrogance cannot deal with the fact that maybe, just maybe, he's not as amazing as he thinks he is towards women. And so, when a woman eventually does turn him down, or rejects his advances, what does this guy do? He wallows in self-pity, cries and gets very upset, then locks himself away from everyone, society, women, friends and family. In fact, at one stage and after a failed first date, where he got rejected, he refused to even entertain dating for an entire calendar year. Now, he's an attractive man with a great job and has potential to be a real serious catch. Instead, now in his 40s, he's repeating the same mistake. He gets rejected and gives up. Hence his predicament. Are you guilty of this? Do you get rejected and quit and want to quit forever? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. A very common trend of single miserable people is they somehow expect others to save them romantically. That's very rarely the case and if it were to happen again, it's not for the right reasons. My culture is Mediterranean descent and like many others, it is common for family to want us to settle down, get married and have babies ASAP. Therefore, if I genuinely wanted to be single and miserable forever, I'd rely on my family to save me. I'd rely on parents to go out and network and find me a girlfriend, maybe through their friendship circles or the community. Or I'd be asked to be set up with a woman I don't know anything about and I'd be trusting my judgment on other people from a different background to me, a different generation, different tastes, intentions and so on. Or I could rely on my siblings to set me up, my cousins or even aunts and uncles. Setups in my opinion never work. But basically doing nothing and expecting my family to save me from being single is also a waste of time and life. Of course, it doesn't have to be limited to just family and culture. You can ask friends or rely on friends to hook you up and find you love. But again, no matter how close you are or how much you think you have in common, can they realistically save you romantically? I highly doubt it. Let's be honest, surely they would have done so by this point. Or worse, maybe they too are single and miserable. So it's like the blind leading the blind. There are also many other forms and ways of expecting others or other things to save you, such as relying on your social media, just on dating apps, events like weddings and birthday parties, relying on strangers and meeting them in bars and clubs, and just going out in general. Relying on anybody or anything other than yourself to stop being single and stop being miserable is a fool's errand. It rarely 
ever works. If you're getting value from this video, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and survive walking away with my brand new course. Download it now in the description below. If you want to stay single and miserable forever, do yourself a favor and tolerate mediocrity. Accept it, revel in it, and make excuses for it. Kevin was the sort of guy who loved to tolerate mediocrity. So he gave up on dating entirely when he was 24. He was so negative that he'd just wallow in self-pity and write off his entire life and romantic future by saying, woe is me for being single, there are no good girls out there, I'm destined to be alone, I'll live a dull life. I remember one time me and him were sat opposite each other. He smiled and said to me personally, let's hang out forever, just us two, like an old married couple. Those words sent a shiver down my spine. I shortly after that statement distanced myself from Kevin. I didn't want to associate with someone like that. We were naturally drifting apart anyway. Long story short, I did not want to tolerate mediocrity. I never wanted his lifestyle. I never agreed with his approach to dating or life in general. So I walked away. A few weeks back, I was walking out of a train station after a trip to town. And who do I randomly bump into? But Kevin. He looked the same after years apart. Maybe just a bit older, more run down, stressed and overweight. He was still in the same job still doing the same thing, still living in the same place with the same mindset and lifestyle. You know me, hopelessly single and miserable forever, he said. Why did you honestly think that was ever going to change? How sad is that? He wrote himself off and did nothing to change, nothing to improve. All he did was tolerate a life of mediocrity. And as a result, he lives single and miserable. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with the therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy could teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and start your healing now with BetterHelp. If you want to remain single and miserable forever, blame your circumstances, or better yet, blame everyone and everything but yourself. Here's a typical list of excuses a single miserable person would say, despite again making no effort to improve their circumstances. Society's expectations, they blame society to conform to a certain relationship norm and standard. They attribute being single to a streak of bad luck in dating in general. They blame their appearance or perceived lack of attractiveness for their difficulty in finding any partner to date. They complain about a lack of suitable dating opportunities or meeting potential partners such as all the good people are taken. They accuse others of not meeting their own unrealistic or overly specific shallow superficial criteria for what it takes to be their romantic partner. They blame timing and other circumstances for not meeting the right person at the right time. Oh, if it was only this time. Oh, if it was only that time. And so on. They're holding past failed dating relationships and rejections and so on responsible for their current predicament. They cite having too busy a schedule, working too much for not making any effort with dating. They complain that online dating apps and dating websites in general are giving unfair advantages to them and they cannot find partners at all. They actually blame their own age. I'm too old. I'm too young. I've missed the boat. I can't date for another couple of years. 
and that's why they're still single. And then they blame where they live, their geographic location as to the fact that there's no single people there or it's too inundated with too much competition and so on. So if you want to remain single and miserable, participate in the blame game. Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comments section below. Perfection doesn't exist. And most realists and successful people in dating and relationships know and embody this. But if you want to remain single and miserable forever, keep putting off your pursuit of meaningful connection and love until everything is right and perfect, which is never by the way. This might be the perfect day or night to have a date, the perfect looking partner to talk to or match with online, the perfect personality with a perfect career, family, set of ideals, the perfect date location, the perfect time of the year, the perfect weather, the perfect situation for a first kiss, the perfect situation to ask them out. When it comes to falling in love, having a partner, relationships that are meaningful, there's nothing perfect about it. Seeking and waiting for perfection is childish and immature, and just another excuse. An excuse the single miserable person uses to not want to be vulnerable or make an effort with dating so they can remain in misery and mediocrity. You'll never find the perfect situation, circumstance or partner with dating ever. However, if you decide to do the opposite of all I've suggested in this video, you'll have a far better chance of finding the right and most compatible partner. Or you can just remain single and miserable forever. The choice is yours.